Hey guys. Okay, so recently I was turned on to this website called examine.com and it's full of so much great information and one of the things that I really liked about it was that it, everything that is stated is backed up through research. Um, you know, every single paragraph that they have on all topics, they give their citation sources. So, you know, if there's something you're not necessarily clear about, you can go back, you can read abstracts, you can read mythology, you can read, you know, whatever you want about it. So I decided that um, every week I'm going to pull a topic from that website and kind of break it down for you guys. Um, because it talks a lot about supplements, it talks a lot about nutrition. And I think it's just good stuff for me to, for myself to learn, A, because I work in a supplement store, B, because I just like knowing this stuff, and also it helps me relate it to you guys in a way that you guys can understand if you're not very formidable on, um, you know, on a lot of like the biochemistry that happens within our bodies. So the first topic that I want to talk about today is uh, beta alanine. Um, this is something that I've heard a lot about. Um, people come into the shop and they, they were, you know, they want pre-workout with that in it. And I've always known where it's at, but never really what the point of it is. So um, that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about today. So beta alanine is a modified version of the amino acid alanine. Um, it's so before I go into like what it does, I'm going to talk about how you should take it. Uh, you find it a lot in pre-workouts and different stacks, and it's recommended to take two to three grams daily. Uh, some of you may notice that when you take pre-workout and you get the tingling feeling, it's because that that particular pre-workout has a very large concentrated dose of beta alanine in it. So, um, so it's saying that if you don't like that effect but still want to take beta alanine every day, you can take either 0.8 to 1 grams several times throughout the day, or you can take it all at once. Um, so that's that's kind of up to you. Another thing is too that even though it's stacked with pre-workouts, you don't necessarily need it right before you lift. You don't need it at any time in particular. It's not time dependent. You can take it right when you wake up, right before you go to bed. As long as you get the two to three grams daily, you're golden. So kind of what it does is it enhances muscular endurance. Um, when ingested, it's also um, it's turned into carnosine. And what carnosine is, it's something that's stored intracellular. It's released when the pH in your body um, fluctuates, so that can be either through um, your diet, if you have you know, a really acidic diet. Um, a lot of people are starting to get turned on to alkaline water, um, which is just pretty much really basic water that kind of disrupts the pH in your body. Some people think it's good. It, that's just one of those fads that's kind of going around. Um, but what this does is if you introduce something that, that you know, makes your pH fluctuate, this is released into your body um, and it helps restore it back to homeostasis. Um, also, it helps uh, protect your body from whenever you're, when you're exercising, you get the lactic acid buildup. Um, lactic acid is, is acidic. Um, and so if that happens and you get a, you know, a large increase, um, that helps you, you know, go back to normal. Um, some things that you don't want to confuse it with is L-alanine and L-carnitine. Um, they kind of sound alike. When you're reading labels, it could potentially be, you know, misconstrued as the same thing. Not the same thing. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, it can also improve um, moderate to high intensity uh, cardio exercise endurance. Um, and also... When I was reading and looking over the studies, some of the, the key points that were pulled from studies that are, you know, actual facts that you can relate to other people is that um, in regards to muscular endurance, um, there was a 2.85% um, elevation of endurance um, in exercise that lasted from 60 seconds to 240 seconds. So pretty much what that means, if you're hitting a rep range of 8 to 15 reps, um, depending on how fast you're going, um, this will help you be able to get a couple more reps in there. It, it makes it to where your muscles don't fatigue as fast. Um, and so if you think about it, um, this um, supplement in general is linked to hypertrophy, whether that's through uh, like a higher workload or whether it's through, um, you know, inherently in itself. We're not sure, but what it does is it does create hypertrophy. So Anyways, um, so that's about it with beta alanine. If you guys have any questions, uh, throw it in the comment box um, and give me a thumbs up for this video. Uh, so I, if uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna have more. So hope you guys have a great day. Bye.